And if you'll please step forward, fill the rows in the front row, down front. Thank you. Before we begin, we would like to make the minor control adjustments. Here. Oops. Oh, something broke. Hold on one moment, please. Just one moment. Thank you. Well, we're about to begin. In case of a loss of cabin pressure, just relax. Okay. Thank you. Come on in. Thank you. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? I don't know why that's there except to go... Now, please form double rows and move to the center of the theater. Do it! You've been waiting outside. You've been in line for a while. Just do it! Thank you. That's right, my friends. Why don't you come on in while we just do a final systems check? Just a few routine... Hey, Bo! Hey, Bo! Hey, Bo! Don't worry. This is all part of the demonstration. Just testing. For your safety, I've invented rails for you to lean on. I call them lean rails. Please do not sit on the lean rails, because they're there to lean on. And please don't sit on the floor. My studies show that you can experience time travel on the floor. And it's not a pretty picture in those shorts. Hey, Tinselhead, pipe down! I'm trying to work here! All right! Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and those of you wearing the funny animal hats, welcome! The reason I've gathered you here today is to witness the exploration of the next great frontier, courtesy of my own incredible time machine. That impending off of order of Hey, timekeeper! What? What am I in here? Scrap metal? Come on, introduce me! Oh, pardon moi. I'd like you all to meet my assistant. She's bold, she's brassy, she's self-contained all the way from Cleveland, Ohio. Please welcome the self-programming circumvisual photo droid. Let's say hello to 9i. Okay, enough of this chit-chat. Let's get ready to break the time barrier. That's right, my friends. No longer are we limited to traveling from place to place and losing our bags beforehand. Now, with my time machine, it is possible to travel from time to time. Enough explaining. Hit the switch. We're almost ready to go. Just a few last-minute details. You know, this thing looked a lot safer in the blueprints, bud. It's perfectly safe. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Raising neutrino shield... Yeah, if this gizmo's so safe, what are you doing with that neutrino shield? Oh, nothing. It's just a little design flourish. Ha, <laughs> don't worry. Lead-lined underwear. Check. <laughs> Laser gun. Targeted. Check. Whoa! Watch where you point that thing. It worked! <laughs> and they left to be back at university. Maybe it's because of the tutu. Well, you doubting autonomous. You ready to make some history? I'm ready already. Let's go! I'll decide when we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Nine-Eye? Nine-Eye, nine can you hear me? I read you loud and loud! Oh, no. Nine-Eye, I've lost that miserable little piece of metal. Hey, I heard that. Where am I? Don't worry, Nine-Eye, you're safe and sound in the, um, Triassic period. I'm opening my eyes. I better like what I see. Oh, no, you're too far back. These controls are so sensitive. I barely touched them. Oh, big teeth. Brain the size of a walnut. <laughs> no problem, I've got it. Oh, quick joke for you. How many Neanderthals does it take to light a fire? None! They don't have it. <laughs> I've gone to 12,000 years ago, the last great ice age. Fabulous. Oh, daiquiris for everybody. How about a hot, hot, hot cup of antifreeze? I'm icing up here. And here we are. 1450, a demonstration of Gutenberg's printing press. The gates, we are not in Germany. Unless there's a whole new fashion thing. Look at those skirts, it must be cold. And no one's wearing underwear. Tough guys, eh? Get away from there, Naina. He's coming to give you a Glasgow kiss. Ah! Ah! Right between the eyes. I got you, Naina. I got you. 
The Renaissance. My machine works. I get the grant. <laughs> Quick, follow that Mona Lisa. You always did have a thing for historical figures. You're going to meet a true visionary. One of my personal heroes, Leonardo da Vinci. No, no, no. Perché no. io il fatto yeah. el macchina yeah, di tempo. No. To go. Oh, great souvenirs. No, no, don't touch that. Put it back. You don't know where that's been. Put it back. Hey, Mona, take five. He's drawing me. Oh, look, over there. Oh, gravity works. Ciao, ragazzo. That's Mozart. Yes, Tamadeus himself. Today's his seventh birthday. He's playing his own minuet in G. Isn't it fabulous? And over there's little Louis XVI with his head still on. <laughs> way to go, Wolfie, way to go, yes! Will you please? They spotted me. Reel me in, Tin Man. Wait, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Hurry, hurry, they can see me. Try to blend in. Think chandelier, think France, think Chardonnay gone tomorrow. I am blending in. I am blending in. Will you stop posing? We have to go now. I am not blending in. I am not blending in. Boy, am I not blending in. Timekeeper, fix this right now. I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Oh, I pulled something. Whoa, what's happening? I'm sending you to the Paris Exposition, but it's stuck on fast forward. Well, look at that! Isn't that a great effect? I planned it that way, I really did. Look out, I'm gonna throw my circuit breakers! I should save this for the next show. Okay, what are we doing here? Nai Nai, this is something I've wanted to see my whole life. The Exposition Universale du Paris, 1900. Speak English! The Universal Exposition of Paris, 1900! D'accord. We're about to meet two of my greatest heroes, H.G. Wells and Jules Verne. So where are they? What am I, a map? Oh, look, here comes Mr. Wells. But I don't see Jules Verne. Drop down, move closer, blend in, mingle, mingle, mingle. Don't just hover. Don't just hover. Blend! You're welcome. Look, right there, there he is. A man with his head in the stars. Jules Verne. Monsieur Verne. Permit me to present Monsieur H.G. Wells. Monsieur Wells, the honor is mine, sir. Oh, and mine too, sir. Your work, Mr. Wells, caused quite a sensation. Particularly the time oh, machine. Oh. Yes, the time machine. I've brought along a model for La Conference. Aha. Uh -huh. I spent my life writing about the possible, and you prefer the impossible. Impossible? No, sir. This may be improbable, but believe me, it's not impossible. Good reply. One point. Have you traveled through time? Have I ever traveled through time? Uh, I have traveled through time as often as you have traveled from the Earth to the Moon, sir. Yes. Easy, boys. Too much to coffee? Time machine, we have only ten minutes until the conference begins. Well, we'll continue this, Monsieur Verne. I'll be in tow. Hmm. <laughs> time travel. It's impossible. Oh, yeah? Look again, Frenchie. No, no, that's it. You're grounded. I told you not to interfere. I'm bringing you back right now. Hey, I watched that. Hey, would you get your paws off me? You're smudging my glossy finish. Timekeeper! Don't worry. Relax. It's under control. No problem. I've got it. Oh! Oh, no! What have I done? Oh, no! I'm going to be turned into a ready teller. I'm sorry, you're overdrawn. I must be dreaming. Dreaming? <laughs> this is a nightmare. Who are you? Timekeeper. Just a guy who probably destroyed history by bringing you here. Where is he? It's the future, Mr. Verne. Oh, I've got to send you back. No, wait. All my life, I dreamed of the future. You must let me see it. It is pretty wonderful. <laughs> Maybe... No, I can't. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. No, I can. Yes, I can. No, I can. Listen, you have a speech in ten minutes. Plenty of time. But I cannot guarantee your safety. We're not covered for this, really. I take my chances. I think you better go back. With Tinselhead here at the controls, you're gonna be French toast by breakfast. Listen, Blinky! I know exactly what I'm doing! Now, Monsieur Verne, tell me, what would you like to see? <laughs> Everything. Way to go, Jules! Monsieur Verne, I proudly show you the modern world! In ten minutes or less. Give or take a few seconds. So this is the future. It's very dark. You know, I've never been able to read these timetables. He does know what he's doing. Occasionally. Uh-huh. don't like that noise. I hope that's not what I think it is! Oh, no. What happened? Where's Jules? I got him on the train. He didn't say inside. Picky, picky. Well, I'll move you in closer. Way to go, Tin Head. You've turned Jules <laughs> Verne into a hood ornament. Oops. Power down more. Oh, quit showing off. I've put Jules back on the ground now. Oh, all right. 
<laughs> Don't yell at me, please. My circuits are not all there. No kidding. Oh. Ten, ten. Warning, warning. Fantastic. Hold it, God. This is total madness. I want to try it. I am not watching this. Ten, ten. There must be something caught in the lift trap, hon. Hey, Professor. What? You put Jules Verne in a race car? Yeah, good thinking. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Jules, wait. That's the off ramp. Stay with him, Nana. Stay with him. Slow down, Julie. Slow down. Kick it, honey. Yeah. Roll on through. Now, pop a wheelie. You're in here now. Hey. Wrong way. Wrong way. Go right. Go right. Go right. Make a pit stop, Julie. Get back there. The pants are full. <laughs> oh no, look up ahead, it's the Jamaican team. Oh, Jules, don't be afraid. You're coming down a little slower, Ari. There goes Suzanne Summers pulled by a blender fish. So it is true. What one can conceive, one can achieve. Thank you. Hey, I'm starting to see a pattern here. On the land, under the sea. Right, nine nine. There's nowhere to go but up. Hey, timekeeper, this is beautiful. But where's Jules? Relax, I've got him right here. Strap in, Julie. Oh, timekeeper. I'm flying! You can't fly! If you had wings, I'd let you go! Sweetheart, sit down, will you? Don't make me come over there! I'll turn this helicopter right around right now! Hang on to your whiskers, Jules! Show me more! What journey is complete without a brief moment in the English countryside with someone named Trevor? Hello, Trevor! Take care! We're heading for that aqueduct. And here we are. Wow! This is it, Julie. The Big Apple. New York, New York. City of 10 million dreams. And one parking space. It's fantastic! Keeper, can you take me even higher? Higher, Monsieur Verne? Your wish is our command. Uh, sister, we have an unidentified Frenchman approaching now. Thank you. From the Earth to the Moon, no doubt you've made the journey. You wrote the book, Jules. You're very kind. Monsieur Verne, 30 seconds to your speech. Here we are, back at the exposition. Right oh. place, wrong time, you big lug nut. Hey, check this out, babe. Yo, yo, do the timekeeper rep. You got to see it now. See it. Sorry, guys. We're out of time. Thank you, timekeeper, for an extraordinary voyage. Extraordinary for me as well, sir. Nine no, nine. No. You are a most charming guide. You weren't so bad yourself, Jules. If I ever come back, I'm definitely going to look you up. I don't believe what I'm seeing. This is impossible. Improbable? <laughs> Impossible, no. Mr. 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 Burley. Come on, come on. Spray in the air. Goodbye, Jules. Don't forget to write. Goodbye, Nagai. Bon voyage. Au revoir, Monsieur Van. You know, I'm really gonna miss that guy. I'll miss him too, Nai Nai, but there's still one place we haven't seen. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we know my time machine operates flawlessly, who would like to travel into the future? Hold it. You're putting people in this thing on purpose? Chill, Blinky. I'm on a roll. Now, any volunteers? Step right up. Don't be afraid. Put yourself through a massive time warp continuum. Please, no Disney employees. Anybody? Oh, fabulous! <laughs> Come on down! 
Aha! There's the pioneer spirit. I hope you're insured. I hope you had your eyes checked. Now, prepare for the most fantastic journey of your lives. Okay, let her rip. Here we go. You did it. We're really in the future. Once in a while, you do amaze me. Actually, I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> well, Tempest Fugit dudes, your history people. Wow, this is unbelievable. Oh, it is pretty fabulous. Look, it's Jules in HG. Hey, guys! My Z99, good to see you again. Wait a minute, how did you get here? In the future, anything is possible. <laughs> hey, wait for me! Well, time flies, and now I'm going to go browse through the library at Alexandria. Check up on Columbus before he got to Ohio. Give Freud a piece of my mind and say, Oedipus, Oedipus. Okay, show's over. Get out of here, you little numbskulls. I love you. Thank you for coming today. Get out! Thank you, Timekeeper. On behalf of the Metropolis Science Center, we hope you've enjoyed your trip through time.